Hello viewers, welcome back to Silo Space, the engineers and navigators hub. A shout out to all the returning viewers. I really appreciate the support as we keep learning together. I also welcome the new viewers. I'm glad to have you on board. Please subscribe to Silo Space, like the videos, share to friends, comment so i know how to improve on the videos let's take this ride to wisdom together sit tight and don't go anywhere so today we are discussing on a topic as important as possible we are going to talk about ship alarm and how they sound as a seafarer on board you should know how different alarms sound and what they are meant for on board the ship they are a lot of potential hazard which can definitely lead to different types of emergency situation on board. So therefore, a seafarer needs to be familiar with different alarm, the distinctive sound, and those that comes with the visual to enable them know the nature of the emergency and also how to tackle the situation effectively to prevent damage and accidents and, and unnecessary circumstances. So in, you should also note that these alarms are the same no matter the country, no matter the company you're working on, because it's regulated by IMO. So it's not that an alarm will be sounding this way on this vessel in Nigeria. You go to um, US or what other country, it's sounding different. Or if it's sounding today in um, another company, in another company they have other type of alarm. No, it's always one and the same. So um, as we go forward, a quick one please subscribe in case you are yet to do that for all my new viewers then for the old viewers thank you for your subscription it really counts and i appreciate it do click the like button so that this video can reach a whole number a whole lot of audience share this video and at the end of this video if it is interesting and educative i would love to hear your comment thank you very much okay meanwhile in today's video you'll be listening to the alarm sounds practically how to sound real life. So I would advise if you are using an headset, please lower the volume because of your eardrum so it won't damage it. Enjoy the video. Thank you. So the first on our list today is the man of a board alarm. The signal for the man of a board alarm is three long ring from the vessel's alarm bell or three long blast from the vessel's horn. This is to notify the crew on board of the emergency. So this alarm is sounded when a crew falls overboard and any other crew that sees it should sound this alarm to notify every other one of the impending danger and how to rescue the crew. <laughs> Alright, the second on the list is the general alarm. The signal for the general alarm is seven short ringing of the ship's alarm bell followed by a long ring or seven short blast from the ship's horn followed by one long blast. These alarms are sounded whenever we have emergency shots as the collision the grounding and also when there is an event or a scenario that can lead to an abandoned ship a general alarm is always sounded before the other rudiments for abandoning the ship <laughs> All 
Okay, the next one is the abandon ship alarm. The signal for abandon ship is the general alarm together with a verbal order from the master saying abandon ship on the ship's personal addressing system. So the abandon ship alarm is sounded when the emergency situation on board is out of hand and the ship is not safe anymore for the crew. So when you hear the general alarm, then the verbal or the abandon ship, that, that definitely is an abandon ship alarm. Abandon ship. So the next one is the fire alarm. The fire alarm signal is a continuous blast of of the ship horn or the continuous ringing of the ship's alarm bell or electrical bell. So this alarm is activated in the event of a fire on board and it's activated by pressing the closest fire call point or the fire switch. Okay, moving forward, we have the machinery space CO2 alarm. You can just call it the CO2 alarm. So the CO2 alarm is a combination of the visual and audible alarm. So it's completely different from other ship's alarm to enable the crew in the engine room recognize it easily and distinguish it. So simply put, I would say it is a distinguished alarm with visual signal. Um, the machinery space CO2 alarm is activated whenever the CO2 release cabinet door is open. That is, the one that is used to open and release the CO2 fire extinguisher banks to flood the engine room to in, the, in the event of um, fighting fire. All right, we now have the navigational alarm. So the navigational alarm signal is um, a continuous sound alarm in the navigation bridge. Um, most of the equipment on the bridge and the navigational lights are fitted with alarms just in case there is a failure. So in the event of this failure, an alarm that shows the location of the equipment affected, the problem is displayed on the navigational screen on the bridge so it will just give a continuous sound alarm on the navigation bridge so the watchkeeper takes note of it and rectifies the problem so we have the engine room alarm although most times they call it the machinery space alarm so um this is a common engine room alarm that activates whenever there is failure of any machinery to draw the attention of the watchkeeper or officer in charge of the watch in this scenario there is continuous sound alarm in the engine room and the problem can be traced on the control in the control room alarm panel so we just have um, a distinctive continuous sound in the engine room to notify that oh, oh.
okay the last but not the least for today is the ship security alarm system this is a very important alarm mostly it's mostly called the ssas so if this um, ship security alarm system is activated in the event of a pirate attack emergency so when the ship security alarm system is activated the alarm will not sound on board the ship neither will it alert the vessel within the ship vicinity but the signal will be transmitted to different coastal authorities within close range to the ship through a global satellite system to inform them about the ship piracy, piracy attack and possible way of rescuing the ship. Okay, so we've come to the end of today's session on alarm sounds on board the ship and their practical sounds. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture and you've learned one or two and now you would boldly know how different types of alarm sounds on board so next week i would really love for you to be here right here with me on sailor space because i would be discussing what you should do whenever you hear any of this alarm ring let's say you hear a man of a board alarm ring what should you do if you hear a general alarm ring what should you do and the rest of them all so stay tuned on sailor space meanwhile don't forget to subscribe like share and we've come to the end of this video if this video was educative interesting and all of that sort of good thing do drop your comment i really want to know your view thank you